Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI, where we've made it to the Empire. Town of Albrook, obey the Empire. Anyone who opposes the will of the Empire will be strung up for treason. Ooh, wow. Welcome to Albrook, the occupied port city. So it did seem like it was recent that the Empire started taking over all these small towns. Welcome. Have a potion. Uh, we're good there. I'm gonna buy some more eye drops. Remedy. Hmm. Yeah, I do like being able to teleport out of dungeons. There's something important on the eastern edge of the continent. The Imperials built an observation post there and won't let anyone beyond it. We have to bribe the soldiers or they won't let us do business here in our own city. <laughs> Defy us and you'll regret it. Oh. Well, I wouldn't want to do that. The Imperial Capital of Vector is right at the center of this continent. So they had a very strategic position to start with. I study monsters. The ones on this continent seem to be exceptionally vulnerable to magic. Hey, we got a high potion. Wait a second. Is there no way back there? There might be no way back there. Alright, anyway, we need to rest. This is probably gonna be a weird episode. I don't I don't know how much actual progress we'll make because there's quite a bit to explore. I mean we could go right to Vector, that's kind of what the game wants you to do. But I want to look around. Welcome! What do you have? Prevent darkness. I have a bunch of those. Earring. Is it worth it to get more? Sniper eye. We have that. At some point, we're going to need a bunch of those. Prevents poison, darkness, and zombie. That's actually pretty good. Will I. Oh! Elixir! Yes! I should leave. <coughs> Welcome. It's weird. It's always the beginning of the episode. You probably don't even have any money. You know what? I have been treated very rudely. I would like to talk to this guy who looks like he owns the place. The pub's pretty much an imperial clubhouse these days. Oh. Sheesh. These, those soldiers think they own this place. Are they wrong? All right. Anyway. Let's get some weapons and armor. I bel it might be the same in all the places. I'm an ancient. I'm a scholar of ancient weaponry. Two weapons known as Ultima weapons were used during the War of the Magi a thousand years ago. One was a sword whose blade formed from its wielder's strength. The other was a monster born for destruction. That's true. So there, yeah, there is a weapon called the Ultima weapon. Who do I want those? Yeah, that's good. And it basically works, the higher your HP, the more damage it does, also the cooler the sword looks. You can find excellent weapons and armor in the shop in Zen to the north and Miranda to the west. Oh. So don't waste my money on this crap is what you're saying. Oop. Ah! I, I mean, I wasn't gonna take your stuff. I was seeing what was in there. Emperor Gestalt commissioned a painting from me. What kind of painting should I do? Uh, the portraity kind. Ooh, okay. Do I want that? Yeah, I want that. Lot can equip it, but it's not better, but it's not worse? Question mark? Oh, he is the one that does HP, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna switch him to having more MP. Oh yeah, Matt, ooh, loses some evasion though. That's fine. Oh, lose five points of magic. Not that we were really using magic. Oh, look at all the stats we lose. I hate that I can see that stuff now because it always happened before and I would just change it because I didn't know any better. Mm, 
no, that's not true. No, I did show you on that screen. Never mind. I played this game before. Okay, so let's head this way. Uh, can I go this way? I didn't want to do that. Oops, I forgot to switch her weapon. Chainsaw. Mug the dog. It's probably fine. Whoa! Chainsaw, that's probably worse. Don't think too hard on that one. Oh, mineral rod? Who can equip that? Nobody? Seems like a good... Magic plus two? Who can use it? No party members can equip- Alright. Fine. Give me something cool and I can't even use it. By the time I can use it, it won't be cool anymore. Well, this did work. I feel like I could do some serious leveling. Using Rising Phoenix, obviously, and Auto Crossbow, would that just finish, like, whole screens? Are we on magic? Is anyone else done? He's done with Siren, but no one else is done with their spells yet. Getting there. Let's see what they have in the shops here. Oh wait, are there more? What's the south? Hold, hold on, hold on. We'll be right back. And auto crossbow, I think, is the way to go here. I still have double earrings on. No, I don't, I don't have any earrings, I think, on Sabin. Another mithril rod, jeez. No, one earring. Earring. Okay. No, I'm, I'm good with that, actually. What? What? What is that dot? What? I know what I know what that one is. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure in the forest is a chocobo. Man, I cannot guess correctly with auto crossbow or chainsaw. But what's here? Yeah, okay, so chocobo forest. Yeah. Or stable. Wow, the whole stable's in the forest. Okay. But what the heck is this? Is that not anything? What? Right. Right. You you see it. Oh, hold on. What is that supposed to be? The bright side, this is giving us a chance to level up. Probably not like super exciting battles. Oh, it's cool. I like the animation for Rising Phoenix. Or Fire Dance, as it were. Oh, Celeste done with, uh, with her? Like, yeah. I should be somewhere. Weird. Okay. Alright, that's what grabbed my attention because I'm like, oh, there's a chocobo forest around here so you can, like, save some time. Oh, holy water, nice. Anything in the end, like a clock, I can steal an elixir? Oh, oh, I see a clock. Is this the inn where I can stay for free? No, alright, forget it then. 
actually not free anyway. <laughs> Miranda used to be the uh, most beautiful town on this continent, then the Empire came along. Now look at it. Well, it's, it's not bad. The soldiers out there are out of control, and there's nothing we can do about it. How long do we have to put up with this? It's a, it's a fair question. Oh, Mithril, after I just bought all that other stuff, is it really, like, it's an extra point of defense. And how much extra, like, lose magic defense. And evasion? I actually don't think it's very good. Oh, Mithril Mail, though. I'm gonna buy one and compare. I think everyone stands to lose, like, ninja gear, and yeah, two agility. That's not the worst. Not the white dress, gonna lose five more magic? That's ten magic. God, that's, oh my god, that's so much. For four points of defense? Mm, I don't know about that. And lose magic defense, okay. Alright, right, that one's easy, that's easy. That's just straight up upgrade. Is it worth it to lose two points of agility for wait, for four extra defense? I don't know that it is. That's actually not very good equipment. That used to be like my end all be all was whatever had the highest defense or the highest attack. Oh, that looks very illegal. Uh, it, the kid definitely shouldn't be there. Uh, my son was forced into the Imperial Army. Oh, I hope he comes home safe. His name was Biggs. Have you heard of him? Ah, uh, gotta go. Look what's over there. Zen and Albrook were invaded by the Empire too. My dog's the strongest. All right, what do you have? Mithril Spear, Trident... Do I, want I don't think I really want that. Oh, boomerang... dual wield boomerangs? Oh, I should've... should've looked. What do we... what do we lose? Oh, it's just... Seven points of attack. All right, that's, that wasn't that great. That's all right. Yeah, get him! I refuse to take part in this. Uh, oh, I talked to you already. I was- I shunned their movement twice. He won't stop asking me to marry him. Aisha, my love. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- Oh, he went through me! Uh-oh. Oh, run, Aisha. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He sent me the book I'd been reading. I've been reading a little bit of it every night before bed. I'll treasure it forever. So, in Sabin's scenario, when we sent all the stuff through the carrier pigeons, this is where it went. I think if we had waited to do it, we could have, like, gone back and forth. But, probably better to get that accessory early. Uh, let's see what's in the other towns. Oh, this should do some damage. Back attack. Oh, ha! I got your attention! I, s I stole your potion. There's nothing you can do about it, because you're dead. Oh, HP plus 10%. Nice. Oh, what are our espers like? No one, no one's done yet. Oh, that's going to take a while. So, uh, uh, Edgar might be stuck for a little while. I don't think I want to go to that desert. It's just two steps. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. All these things make you berserk. Which I don't think matters. Whoa! Look at the damage! Oh, oops. I don't want to go to that desert at all. Thought something was off about that. Can I go through here? I can! Is there another? Yeah, there's a chocobo for us up here. I like the dog's name is Don. Both of them. Don and Don. They had a good life together. Roaming the lands. 
kicking off scraps from that the Empire soldiers had left around until one day, some adventurers showed up and said, I want your gill and experience points. And the adventurers took them. And thus ends the tale of Don and Don. Which probably rest up. Anything we can take here? Nope. Most of the town's youth were led off to serve in the Imperial Army. Our family was slaughtered by the Empire. Uh, what about you, kid? What do you know? Mom says I'm not supposed to play outside because it's dangerous. This town belongs to the Empire. Uh, oh, I already talked to you. Do you have anything different? I would like to grab a couple more ethers. They're very generous with those in this game. This game kind of shaped how I play RPGs, and by kind of, I mean entirely. Uh, nothing good. Because there are so many habits I, I see myself falling into when I play other games that started here. Like, almost never using items, because here you're not really required to, and the game definitely supports you just using magic throughout the whole thing. So there's that. Oh, kid. Wait and see who blinks first. Now I'll tell you a secret. The Empire has a weapon called the Guardian. It's immobile, but ridiculously powerful. If you ever see it, run away and don't look back. You can actually run into it in lock scenario. My grandfather once told me there's a huge gate deep inside a cave on the eastern edge of the continent. Where's that boy of mine? I told him not to play outside. It's dangerous with all these soldiers around. Oh, oh, is there... Oh, wait, what, do you have anything? Welcome. Oh, Hermes sandals. Do I buy another? Mm. I do like... I do like having haste as an option. I'm not going to equip it right away. Ooh. Crap. Nothing in there. But that'll be nice to have. Uh, you're not here. Alright, we'll have to come back. There's a guy who will sell you a thing, and he typically lives here, but he's not here yet. Excuse me, sir. Alright, that's basically everything we can do. Have to, have to move on. This is another one of my typical grinding spots, this forest here. Specifically for this fight. Because uh, you get 900 experience, 1300, almost 1400 gil, and two magic points. Anything else in here you get? Too early. Too early to call it an episode, I think. It's, uh, it, it is a debate to stop here and, and level up. Oh, I couldn't steal. Get me something. Get me. Ow! Oh! Save and learn regen. Perfect. Alright, let's go inside. Uh, hello, sir. I haven't seen you around here before. Why don't you go climb back down whatever hole you crowd out of? Rude. Oh, it's just a kindly old lady. Are you loyal to the Empire? Uh... No, what's up? What? Whoops. I believe the answer she was looking for was yes. Hmm. You just might be able to do it. Listen, youngsters, please don't give up. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, she full heals you. What about you? Do you have any weapons? I don't think anything better. No, same crap. I 
Why are General Celeste went over to the Returners? Why join the side that has no hope of winning? Sid, the director of Magitech Research, is a genius. He gave my son the gift of cure magic. Oh, where's the where's the kid? And and cure. That kid will restore your health one HP at a time if you keep talking to him over and over again. So he'll all right, same stuff. He'll get there. I'm gonna go over here. I don't think so. I think I can only go so far here. Oh, 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 gotta go. What? Filthy returner scum! Uh-oh. I, I made a mistake. I'd like to bail. You will go no farther. Just like later losers. Oh, poor Celeste. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You can't, you can't win against that. Yep. Anyway, gonna do what we need to do, which is not that way. Wait, where am I? What about who are you? General Leo's never had a Magitek infusion. He's a warrior's warrior. Good for him, doing this legit. No cheat codes. Yes, yes, I'm a returner. I've heard all about you. I'll distract the soldiers. You use this box to climb up onto those girders and sneak into the research facility. Oh. Are you ready? Sure. I think I'm stuck once we do this, though. Uh, must add a few too many. Uh, get out of here, you bum. Alright, gonna just climb through here. Walk away. Ooh, think I'm gonna disp you. Oh, jeez. Thanks, old man. Don't get beat up by guards. Get yourself something nice on the way home. There's a safe. Oh, no, I can leave. I'm gonna screw this part up so bad. I I don't remember the path to get like all these treasures, and I there's definitely some that I don't ever get. Ugh. I forgot magic is like the only thing that's effective here. Which is why we have Sabin. Could you imagine if I didn't bring him? I had, like, Cyan. Yep, I screwed that up. I always remembered that one as the one that it looks like it shouldn't be. And obviously that got me into trouble there. I think I can redo this. Oh, Flame Tongue? Yeah! Give that to Celeste. Replacing the weapon that we just bought for her. They did a good job with this track. This is a track I did not appreciate as a kid. Can't remember if I finished that thought or not. I had a, I had a lot of thoughts pretty much all at once once I got in here. I noticed that I went back and I watched my uh, Saga 3 playthrough, which if you haven't seen that, go watch that, please. <laughs> I enjoyed that game. It's, uh, for anyone who doesn't know what it is, it was a, basically a uh, 3D remake that they did on the DS of Final Fantasy Legend 3. It's quite good. But I was watching my playthrough of that, and I realized that I sometimes would like start a thought and real not realize I finished it and start it again later. <laughs> like, oh. Sometimes, you know, a thought is just really important to me and I need to, I need to get it out. Can I go this way? Yeah. Right, give me treasure. Oh, Thunderblade. I think I'm gonna have to... Oh, I didn't even have lock in the back row. No wonder we were getting trashed. Alright. 
might actually change this up since Locke doesn't have any magic. Really? Still not done? Oh, give me more treasure. Oh, Onion Knights! We remember those. Oh, that's damage. Alright, this should do some... Really? I thought that would do much more damage than that. Oh, Bio Blaster, because I need two. Look, what do you get the person who has every two? Oh, I screwed up. No! That treasure chest is gone forever. I don't think I can go back and get it in any way. Oh, wait, can I go... Maybe I can, maybe I can. Ow. Man, these things do some damage. Rising Phoenix to the rescue, man. Ooh, treasure. Oh, Dragoon Boots! Really? Yes! Changes attack into jump. Ah, uh, works best with Edgar. Oh, that's why they give you all those spears. I completely forgot about that. Oh. Wait, why did she fight and not jump? There we go. I mean, everything's gonna be dead this time, but whatever. Well, Locke's almost dead, too. Speaking of dead things... Saban! There we go. Where am I? <gasps> Oh, golden shield. Protects against... What was it? I thought it protected against thunder or something. Alright. Okay, I want to be able to take my time in here and, and try to get as much as possible. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Just so I don't I don't feel like I need to, to rush it to like a save point. Because right now I'm, I, I do kind of want to get to <laughs> save point. But I'm thinking... Pause it here. Oh wait, we gotta do, gotta do a jump. Oh, maybe they're. Oh, oh, jump takes a really long time. I didn't realize that. Oh, lock leveled up. Anyway, we're going to call it here. We'll finish exploring this place in the next episode. I hope you guys are still enjoying this game. I, of course, love it. So, I hope you are as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.